Another important topic in multi-trading is uh, the difference between parallelism and concurrency. So you might have heard these terms maybe interchangeably used, but uh, they are not really at all the same. Um, let's start with parallelism. Parallelism really is all about launching multiple threads that execute basically the same code, but on a different set of data, right? So suppose we have here the data, which is represented by this box, and it's just, let's say, an array with six elements. And let's say we launch six threads, and each are actually going to be using one of these uh, boxes. In this case, we call this parallelism because all six threads are using their own memory and they are not actually uh, trying to access each other's memory. So it's in, they are working in parallel and they basically have efficiency 100% in the sense that, well, if we launch 50 of them and we have actually 50 elements in that array, then given enough CPU power, they're going to run 50 times faster than if we didn't run them multi-threaded. Abstracting, of course, the, the time it takes to create the thread and the join it and whatnot. So this is parallelism. Now, concurrency is, well, remember when we had that uh, little males variable? So we had a males variable at one point, which was just the number of males that were being sent in a mailbox. And this guy was accessed by many, many, many threads, right? And those threads were processing the, the mails themselves, right? So we can denote the thread by just some arrows. Right? We have here, let's say six as above, and they were all accessing the same part in memory. And this is what concurrency is. They are, all threads are concurring over the same uh, shared memory, right? And usually you don't want uh, this, because, well, if all of them, all they are doing are actually entering a critical section where they have to set a certain variable that is shared between all of them, then that's not any more efficient than having just one thread. So usually concurrency is sort of a, a bad thing, but of course it's still needed, but we should actually try to optimize as much as possible uh, so that we don't have to encounter it, right? So here this males variable was read and modified by all these threads at the same time, right? This is concurrency. Okay, now let's take a look at some examples. Here, uh, we're gonna take a look at some old examples that we have already seen. Um, one of them is where we calculated the sum of all of the first 10 primes using two threads. This guy, was what it was doing, it was basically splitting the uh, array in half, right? And giving half of it to one of the threads and another half to the other, right? And uh, because there's no clashing, they, they don't access the same memory and they don't uh, write in the same place in memory at the same or at all, that means that they are in parallel running and they don't actually have any sort of in, uh, mutexes, so that's perfectly fine. Uh, now, this doesn't mean that uh, if we have two threads that are, that are running in parallel, we cannot have concurrency between them. So there could be threads that are also parallel and concurrent at the same time. Uh, but it's the degree of concurrency or parallelism that matters, right? The more parallelism you have, the better the performance, the less the more concurrency you have, the worse the performance, okay? In this case, basically the efficiency is 100% uh, if you only take a look at concurrency. We have no concurrency here. Uh, we're just getting the results. And of course, this uh, simply runs on two threads, right? So we get two sums and they are all both summed at uh, in the main thread here. But if we were to divide it in even more pieces, like uh, I say eight threads, then uh, it would really be more efficient. Well, abstracting again, the creation of the threads and sending the information and uh, the time it takes to join them. And as a matter of fact, it would be a nice exercise for you to try and have, a, have an array 
that its sum is calculated using uh, any number of threads. So you just kind of input the number of threads either here or on the actual on the keyboard and uh, try to have them run that way. Now, as for concurrency, as I said, this uh, was one of the first uh, examples that we've encountered and we had to use a mutex here. We had the males variable and these males were modified every time. But uh, here I added a slip of one, which really means process this mail and this processing takes one second, right? So imagine that there's a process behind it, it actually takes one second. So if you launch this, you're gonna see that uh, only one mail is processed in one second. That means that all the, even though we have multiple threads, the performance is not any better than if we had just one, simply because it's the concurrency is basically 100%. Everything that we're doing here is concurrent. Right? And this is kind of not ideal. That's all for this video. Um, as I said, it's the difference is actually very simple. So I hope you got something out of this video. If you do have any questions about it, please do leave them down comments below or on our Discord server. Again, the source code for both of these uh, programs can be found on our uh, website link in the description below. Take care. Bye.